फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर हुजेफा अहमदी द लर्नेट सीनियर काउंसिल अपियरिंग फॉर द अपील आर्ट्स फर्स्टली सबमिटेड दैट द डिसीजन ऑफ दिस कोर्ट इन द केस ऑफ एन आर परमार हैज बीन ओवर रूल्ड बाय अ लार्जर बेंच ऑफ थ्री ऑनरेबल जजेस ऑफ दिस कोर्ट हाव एवर इट वॉज क्लैरिफाइड दैट द डिसीजन विल अप्राई प्रोस्पेक्टिवली हिज समीशन इज दैट ए रिक्रूटमेंट ईयर इज ए कैलेंडर ईयर and note a financial year the learned senior counsel submitted that in the present case the advertisement for recruitment was not issued in the year 2009 and the examination was conducted in 2010 he pointed out that in the case of nr parmar the advertisement was issued in the same recruitment year in which vacancies arose he pointed out that a requisition was sent on 21st january 2010 to ssc for 482 vacancies of income tax inspectors for 2009-10 however in the next requisition letter dated 22nd november 2010 which was for cgle 2010 carried forward vacancies of 2009-10 were mentioned this requisition was made for 844 vacancies which included even vacancies of the recruitment year 2010-11 based on the observations made in paragraph 33 of the decision in nr parmar's case the learned senior counsel would submit that in terms of the said decision the vacancies arising during a particular year should be reported in the same year and the advertisement for recruitment should also be published in the same year he urged that in the present case all these conditions have not been fulfilled inviting our attention to the decision of this court in the case of k megha chandra he submitted that now this court has categorically held that the seniority of direct recruits will be reckoned only from the date of appointment and not from the stage when the requisition for their appointment was sent the learned senior counsel also pointed out that cbdt by the letter dated 27th may 2019 clarified that in view of subsequent decision of the high court of delhi the decision in the case of nr parmar shall be implemented prospectively with effect from 27th november 2012 the learned senior counsel also pointed out that when there was no advertisement and no requisition issued for the vacancies of the year 2009 the vacancies of the year 2009 were combined in cgle 2010 therefore relative merit of selected candidates can not be determined for assigning the seniority in different recruitment years the reason being that there was only one merit list of cgle 2010 he also pointed out that the final position of vacancies was intimated to ssc for the first time by the letter dated 27th october 2010 therefore the direct recruits who were recruited on the basis of cgle 2010 from the quota of earlier year can not be interspaced between the promotees of the year 2009 he submitted that now seniority can not be disturbed after lapse of 11 or 12 years mr nidesh gupta the learned senior counsel appearing for respondents numbers 1 to 5 7 8 10 to 13 15 to 18 and 29 to 39 firstly submitted that even the decision in the case of k megha chandra protects the case of the said respondents direct appointees as it is specifically observed that the decision will apply prospectively and it will not affect inter se seniority fixed on the basis of the decision of this court in the case of nr parmar he pointed out that this court in the case of k mega chandra held that seniority cannot be granted from the date when the candidate was not born in the cadre he submitted that it is a well settled position of law that the said principle does not apply when the seniority is to be determined in accordance with the rotation of vacancies between direct recruits and promotees 
based on quota of vacancies reserved for both the categories. He relied upon the decision of a constitution bench of this court. He submitted that in the said decision, the court upheld rotational system of fixing seniority. He submitted that attention of the bench of three honorable judges, which decided the case of K. Mega Chandra, was not invited. He would therefore submit that the decision of this court in the case of K. Mega Chandra is per incurium. He submitted that the object of rotational system of fixing seniority is to blend the talent with experience and to augment the efficiency. He submitted that as, as held by this court in the case of Honorable Punjab and Haryana High Court at Chandigarh versus State of Punjab and others, seniority has to be determined on the basis of roster and not on the basis of date of a joining of a particular stream. He pointed out that in the judgment of this court in the case of Arvinder Singh Bans versus State of Punjab and others, it was held that making the date of joining as the basis for determining seniority would lead to discretion in the hands of the government and the possibility of misuse. Stop.